Hello, it is Direct Mail, Monday, October 21st, 2024. Steve Cypress here on a beautiful, gorgeous fall day here in the Phoenix, Scottsdale area of Arizona. Speaking of which, I received this piece mailed from somewhere in beautiful, where is it? There it is, Scottsdale, Arizona. A, uh, as it ends up, uh, a uh, financial advisor uh, hosting a dinner, a free, uh, nice, state dinner uh, to get couples to show up, get the advice and hopefully become clients. Maybe you use these in your business. If not, maybe you want to start using them. But uh, I have to admit, uh, check out what I did. Usually I open these envelopes on the fly right here on Direct Mail Monday and see what's inside. But this one, you know, here was my thinking. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I've shared plenty of these, uh, these uh, invitations to in-person upscale dinners to have the wine and dine them and uh, ha you know, have your presentation and sign up some clients routine. And so I just open it up to, because of course I still never throw out any mail without opening it. I got to see what's inside and see the message. And I'm like, oh, it's going to be all the same. So I just opened, you know, really just tore it open. But to my surprise, immediately when I opened it, I was like, you know, I should have opened this live on direct mail Monday, and then I realized I would not have because I thought this was just going to be run of the mill, but it's not. Check this out. I don't remember seeing this before, and I've seen virtually everything in dec decades of teaching, using, and helping clients make millions and millions and millions of dollars using direct mail, the best bang for your buck in marketing today. Ask yourself how many emails your prospects get, how many social media posts they see, and then how few direct mail pieces they receive. I mean, the competition is almost non-existent. The money is made easier than ever before, but check it out. It wasn't just the typical, you know, invitation front and back. I was like, whoa, check it out. Boom. So this is what's known as a self mail. I mean, you put a little tab on here, a little piece of uh, tape on here. And, you know, one of these panels, this back one, instead of having these question and answers, has the questions and answers in a little smaller font and maybe a few one or two less questions and then you have the the name and address and the indicia for the postage and you just drop it in the mail it's known as a self mail and no envelope necessary and yet this is really i think really smart i haven't seen it before i don't know the results but i'm guessing better results than if they simply mailed a simple front and back invitation in an envelope or if they just mail this self mailer as a self mailer, it's more upscale. It's more, uh, uh, seems more gourmet, uh, more fancy, more, uh, more high end, which uh, apparently and hopefully all financial advisors that hold these kind of events are looking to attract high end clients. You don't do this to attract people to, you know, write a free will or, uh, you know, do something real simple with you. You're looking for people to invest, you know, have a half a million or a million or two, five million dollar net worth. So you invite them to a really nice fine dining restaurant. Here they tell you right on the outside of the envelope. These are three really nice fine dining restaurants. I believe they're all chains, so I'm not sure if you have them in your area. Bourbon and Bones I haven't heard of, but Fleming's Steakhouse for sure. And Cooper's Hawk, absolutely, uh, known for its uh, house wine and its wine of the month club stuff. So these are high-end, I'm guessing the bourbon and bones. It just sounds like a high-end place. Shop, house, and bar, it just sounds high-end. So they have two different choices, a Tuesday or a Thursday at Bourbon and Bones, a Tuesday or a Thursday at Fleming's, and a Wednesday at Cooper's Hawk. So you have five different nights to choose from, and you're going to have your... Uh, you know, they make a mistake. Uh, all these keep making a mistake uh, that I point out all the time, but I won't harp on it. But you see, they use the word complimentary fine dining and then your complimentary dinner workshop instead of the most powerful word in all of advertising and marketing free. Why? I say this all the time. Why overcomplicate it and water it down and discombobulate people with complimentary five syllables and fancy schmancy. I know you want to appear fancy, but you can still use this fancy font and say the word that's 10, 100,000 times more powerful than the word complimentary beating around the bush. I mean, the reader has to translate it and go complimentary. Oh, I know. That means free, doesn't it? 
And then they got to kind of look and go, right? Yeah, I think it's free. Well, it says complimentary again, but I, I'm pretty sure it's free. It doesn't say anything about it. Just say, tell them free. Free is powerful. Like millionaires like the word free. Broke people like the word free. Everyone likes the word free. Complimentary, I guess everyone likes it, but about a thousand times less than the word free. Who doesn't like free stuff? Uh, you know, what's the saying? Like, there's no such thing as a free lunch. The saying is not, there's no such thing as a complimentary meal, as complimentary dining. It's a free dinner. But anyway, otherwise, they do a great job. And what I like most of all, I mean, they're telling you what they're going to cover, which is kind of cool. Uh, you know, they've got this uh, proprietary language here. Learn about the GIFT, Fixed Income Retirement Program. The gift fixed, so they're going to, you know, they've, they've, taken something that probably every financial advisor teaches and implements for their clients and they put it into proprietary format by calling it GIFT. So the four parts of it are going to start, I'm guessing, with the letters GIFT and then it's just going to be the same thing everyone else does, but tax-free income in all caps, uh, reduce or eliminate hidden high fees, protect your assets. You know, they're going to, they're going to talk about all the, the the, the selling points, they hit on all the pain points and all the positive selling points that will get high net worth individuals to show up to this free dinner. Most of all, it's in a fantastic location. Again, I'm guessing that Bourbon and Bones is a fine upscale restaurant. I know Flemings and Cooper's Hawk are. So really great job, job here. And then multiple means response, right? So they give the, the scarcity, seating is limited, and then they have called a toll-free number to RSVP or register online at the website, which is really done with capital letters where they need to be, not the mishmash of all lowercase letters like you usually see. This is SFS East Valley RSVP.com because where I live here uh, is called the East Valley, the east side of Phoenix. Uh, and SFS must be the name of their firm or whatever, but anyway. Uh, and then they also have the QR code that I'm guessing you can scan and uh, RSVP. And then they say, if you prefer privacy, in other words, you don't want to show up to the dinner, we have options. We have a phone consultation, virtual meeting via FaceTime or Zoom, a meeting in our office, call this number to schedule. So great job. Uh, and there's so many more things on here that are great. But I love that instead of just the front and back, they've got four panels to convince you why you should show up, what's in it for you. With a good headline, is your retirement plan on track? Do you know how much beta is in your investments? Have you done a stress test on your investments? Are you aware that your current annuity does not pay higher inflation adjusted income? That's like four headlines right up the top, which answers another question, by the way, uh, advanced tip, that if you are writing a number of headlines, you're not sure which one to choose, well, you use them all. Use one as the main headline, use the rest as subheadlines here. They've got four headlines right at the top, the main one, and then three in the uh, the paragraph, the subheadline right below. Anyway, lots of positive lessons in this, but I wanted to share, I think it's very powerful that they take a four-sided mail. It's just an eight and a half by 11 folded in half, right? So it's a, a four-sided mailer that they could have just put in the mail, but that's less ritzy than putting it in an envelope that looks like an invitation. We always talk about that on these. And it has the ritzy, fancy font, an exclusive invitation for an evening of fine dining. Exclusive is a key word when you're marketing to the affluent. Uh, it doesn't work as well, sometimes even repels the, uh, the broke or the non-affluent. So it's a great word. Uh, hopefully you're using that if you're looking to bring on high worth clients who in this crappy economy we've been dealing with for years with no end in sight, uh, they're the people who have the money to spend, the money to invest. They're the ones with the money. It's the, uh, the affluent. It's certainly not the middle class, the shrinking middle class, it's certainly not the lower class. They, they're barely living paycheck to paycheck and charging up all their credit cards just to get by. The affluent spending money like it's water. So go get some of it. Use marketing like this if you want help with it. Go to my website, thewowstrategy.com to help you out. You want help how to have AI help you do stuff like this to save you a lot of time and make you a ton of money. 
not just with your marketing, with all your operations, everything in your business, you can go to my website, AIGrowthWizards.com. Anyway, that'll do it. For Direct Mail Monday, October 21st, 2024. Thanks for being here live or watching on the replay. I'll catch you back here again tomorrow on Topical Tuesday. Until then, over and out. Got to click this twice. Bye-bye.